Hey guys, sitting inside my 2006 Chevy Silverado here, and I do have a check engine light on in this truck. I have for quite a while, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys this uh, new OBD scanner that I got. The folks over at Ansel provided me with this one. There's the model number, and um, you know, I just, I, you could spend a ton of money on these scan tools, and Typically, the more you spend, the more functions you get, and um, the better quality as well. But I have a couple cheaper ones that are pretty affordable, but also have a ton of functions and clear and read codes, as well as read live data and uh, perform onboard tests and all that. Once you get into the bi-directional scanners, where you could both read information and activate things on the vehicle you know, say the electric parking brake or the AC compressor or EVAP solenoids, um, where you could give information out and give commands to the vehicle. Those tend to get pretty expensive. Um, but I have found there's some pretty affordable ones that do a lot that I need done. Um, so this is one of them. This sucker is very cheap compared to, uh, very cheap in price compared to some of the big name stuff. So I know what the check engine light is on in this truck for, so I want to make sure it reads the same code. And I thought I'd go ahead and check it because since this truck always has the check engine light on um, for a code that just doesn't matter too much, I don't know if it's popped any other codes in, in the last few months here. So we're going to go ahead and try this sucker out, and uh, I'm going to learn along with you. But we want to diagnose OBD... Let her do her thing here. So if you guys aren't familiar, for the most part, you use these with key on, engine off. So you can see the tack is down at zero. The battery light's on because the engine is not running. Um, but sure enough, it shows malfunction indicator lamp status is on. Diagnostic trouble codes in this ECU, the engine computer, there is one. And it did run um, readiness tests. So seven out of seven readiness uh, are complete. Ignition style is spark, and that's it. So let's hit OK to confirm. And I want to read codes. Sure enough, knock sensor, circuit one, low, bank one, or single sensor. So there's two knock sensors under the intake manifold on this truck. One of them is bad. I did check all the wiring going to it, so I believe it's just a bad sensor. Um, and <laughs> I just haven't changed it yet. You do have to remove the intake manifold and the fuel rails. Not too bad of a job, but there's a second sensor under there um, that would reduce timing if it sensed knock. That one is still functioning correctly. And to be honest, I would also know if I was getting fuel knock or, um, or spark knock detonation. If this engine started knocking, I would know. Uh, so it just hasn't been a big deal to me. Let's see, this does say one of two. That's interesting. Oh, two of two, yeah. So knock sensor circuit one, bank one. And it's it's the same code. So there's a generic pending code and a generic current code. So, hey, uh, that's what I'm going to show you for now. Let's go ahead and clear this, actually. So I guess we'd hit back. Erase codes. Super easy to use so far. Minimal amount of bu buttons, obviously, your arrows enter button and back button. So I like that. Clear, reset, emission related diagnostic information. Are you sure? Okay. Please turn ignition on. Ignition on with engine off. Yep. Boom. It's been cleared. This thing operates pretty quickly. I got to say the display is nice and clear. The actual, uh, whatever software and stuff in there, um, looks pretty simple, but Okay, you can record with it. Let's just play around a little bit more and show you guys. Yep, there's my VIN number if you want it. Calibration, yada yada, EVAP system test. Interesting. Wow, EVAP system leak test passed. So that's cool. What else we got? Onboard O2 test. Okay. That's pretty cool. I don't believe my other scanner... Runs O2 sensor tests. Of course, if codes come up, we can check them out. Uh oh, don't be freezing up on me now. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, it does not support it for this vehicle. Okay, so 
freeze frame. It does do live stream data. So pretty cool. looks pretty neat to me for the affordability of this. Um, so thought I'd just uh, show you guys. Look, it covers uh, quite a variety of vehicles. That's one thing I will say. These lesser quality ones, sometimes they can be a little glitchy or slow to respond. This one doesn't seem bad as of yet, but they, in my experience, they still work. So if you're not using it every day and it's not super time sensitive, I'd say, um, you know, a cheaper one will get you by. So once again, all the features on this thing, I like the real buttons. You're not relying on a touch screen and, uh, for the price, just an initial uh, test and review. I'd say the Ansel does everything the average automotive person needs. So check this sucker out. I'll put the link below. I'll keep using it here and there when I'm not using my primary scanner and um, try to explore some more of the functions. But so far, so good. Let me know your comments below, the scanner you use, and um, maybe your dream scanner you'd like to have as well. So thanks for watching.